En el Abierto Tampico 2022, Magdalinet estuvo muy cerca de alcanzar la gloria. La tenista polaca vive actualmente uno de los mejores momentos de su carrera. Sin embargo, ella recuerda lo difícil que ha sido alcanzar el éxito en el circuito de la WTA. My dad was a tennis coach, so my dad introduced me to tennis and uh, he was also my first coach, so my path was chosen way ahead. It was kind of chosen for me, but then I I was really good at it, so it kind of stayed that way. I wanted to be professional. I had no idea what it's going to take and how the road is going to be. Uh, probably if I knew how tough it's going to be, I would be more scared, but um Yeah, I think when you're young, you take challenge, challenges as they come, and uh, you know my part was really long and tough, but and not uh, as anybody expected. But it was mine, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Well, that is nifty, nifty stuff from Magdalenette. I think especially right before pandemic, when I was on the rise, I had my best ranking. I just won another title in a very short period of time. Uh, it was a little bit disappointing because some also injuries crept in into my career that stopped a little bit. But I'm glad that finally now I'm healthy and this year was like pretty healthy year already and I'm already feeling better. So I'm really looking forward to next year because I feel like physically I'm where I wanted to be and uh, kind of came back to my 2020 um, kind of body feeling. Uh, there's so many different ones. I think the first... Um, a WTA title was very special because I came through qualities I did not expect it at all. Uh, it was right before the US Open and it was just so unexpected and I didn't at that time I did not know what it takes to win a title at the WTA so it was amazing to go through that. Also my uh, first starting up in 2010 starting up from basically no ranking to 150 in just three four months was an unbelievable start for me. So it just like I think everything brought something different and everything was special in its own way. I think me as a kid we did not have too many events in Poland but uh, whenever we had it and I was a part of uh, Kids Day I really enjoyed it and it was giving me a huge boost you know of excitement and motivation to you know do more. So I think that was really important so I really try to as well give it back and hopefully motivate and bring something new. I think it was much stronger than anybody expected for 125, so it was definitely higher than anybody expected. We are really bringing a lot of physicality to the matches, so they're very long and exhausting rallies, but I think people like it. Uh, they have very uh, tight matches, a lot of emotions, and uh, people really giving their 100%, so I think it's very nice for the crowd. Uh, thank you for having us and doing this amazing event. I think the facilities are growing and people coming over are just the proof that you know got, you guys were doing an amazing job, especially in the evenings. The, I think the fan zone was unbelievable and the area for the kids. So congrats and hopefully see you next year.